going on guys? This is Alex here with 814 EDC and today I am doing a couple reviews for you guys. Um, I stated in my last video that I had three loaners from Kyle J. Lansphere, aka Red Wolf EDC uh, to do and I'm keeping my word to you guys. Uh, today's Monday so you guys should be seeing these Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I think I'm going to upload them. Um, but anyway, I have, I have three knives to go through so starting right off the bat, the first one is the Benchmade 940, which is an Osborne design. And this particular 940 is a Blade HQ exclusive with their um, M4 blade steel and their JG10 uh, handle scales and their blacked out hardware, which is kind of start, become one of Blade HQ's more popular sprint runs um, with the Jade and either the Satin M4 or the Black M4. I apologize if it's really windy. Um, it's like, what time is it? It's 7.48 currently. Uh, I had a pretty busy day, so I'm trying to squeeze some extra sunlight out of the day and getting these filmed to you guys, so I apologize. It's, it's kind of windy out right now, but I'll try to talk a little bit louder to make sure that, that my uh, voice comes through for you guys. So, right off the bat, we have Benchmade's logo there. 940, which stands for the model number. M4. Osborne design You have a very it's just it's a, a drop point blade, but it's a very thin and narrow blade it Has a swedge cut out here Behind the edge. It's it's not terrible, but I it's not as thin as it could be and as thin as other knives that I felt um, I personally don't like how the blade shape looks. I That's one drawing point. I've never really thought that this knife looked that good in hand um, and the blade just was like eh to me. I wasn't a huge fan. Um, you have a standard Benchmade pot clip, which is also a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice to see that them put either um, the mini deep carry clip that they fought, that they put on the uh, bug outs or just their standard deep carry clip, their loop over style deep carry clip. <clears throat> I just don't know why they didn't with this. I'm not a huge fan of the pot clip, but I do like how everything's kind of translucent and you can see through it and all of the hardware is blacked out as well as the access lock which the bench made uh, a lot of bench made knives you know that's what they made famous basically they're they had a patent on it for quite a while and i think it ran out i want to say two years ago give or take and you've seen a lot of um similar access style locks come out in the marketplace and i, I think that's a good thing for knives um i think that a lot of other you know, companies are doing well with the access style lock. Like Hogue does a good one. Um, Asher Knife Co. They do. I well, I've only handled one of their access style lock knives, but the one I have is very well done. So um, Benjamin kind of you know pioneered it and created it, but their patent ran out, so now other people were able to use it and market it and stuff like that. But it's a relatively thin knife. Um, there's no skeletonization going on because the liners are basically half liners. That's how a lot of uh, bench maids are that I've, you know, realized. And there are two thumb studs, left and right. And the pot clip is reversible, so you can do it lefty or righty, which is nice. And I'm pretty sure that's all for materials. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So we'll go over to action. Action's good. Um, I... When I picked it up and I started flicking it open for the first time, you know, it reminded me just like my bug out. Um, and if I'm being honest, just like my mini grip, which I had, I sold my mini grip before I started this channel, so I, I never got to do a review on that. Um, but they, they basically feel the same. Um, you know, good at thumb flicking, good at middle finger flicking. You can take the ass, a access lock, excuse me, and go like this. Um, for more of a fidget weight, I guess you could do that. I've stated in multiple videos before that if I'm gonna pull this knife out on public and use it, I'm not gonna thwack it open with my wrist. I'm just gonna do a nice little thumb flick or a middle finger flick to open it. Um, but it's very, very easy to uh, thumb flick or middle finger flick. You can also slow roll it too, but that's boring, so. Um, I tried tightening the pivot a little bit because there is a little bit of blade play, which is another common thing I found with bench maids and access style locks um, just because in order to get like that dr drop shuttiness and that smoothness you have to have the blade a little bit loose um, because if I I tighten it just a little bit to try to you know get it to 
um, be somewhere in the middle and it, it would just like sit there. Like I'll pull the access dial lock or the access lock back and it would just sit there. But action's good. Um, this is, you know, more fidget friendly than I thought it would be, I guess you could say, because I just from the ergos and stuff, I, I didn't really expect to enjoy fidgeting with it as much as I do or as much as I have since owning it or owning it since having it on loan but uh, I mean access or access style locks are they basically all feel the same to me um, now that I've held three bench maids and two other style um, access style locks they just they all feel relatively the same and that's a good thing they're a good lock they're a fun lock to play with and the action on this is you know undoubtedly very benchmade like which again is a good thing so action good next is ergos and the ergos kind of surprised me um like i stated before i, I have never liked this particular handle and blade shape type of knife um, i've always thought that the 940 has been kind of overhyped and overrated especially at their standard uh s30v black g10 model for like 180 bucks by the time you had shipping um, I've, I've always thought that was a little, you know, steep for the price point um, and the materials you're, materials you're getting. And I've just, I mean, obviously I like this model better because it is a specialized exclusive with better blade steel and cooler uh, G10 handles. Um, but like I said, I've never really liked how this knife looked. Um, but Ergos are pretty good. There is a little bit of jimping up here and down here as well. Um, and I can get all four fingers on there very comfortably and it's a very, you know, neutral handle shape It's very There's no sharp edges the G 10s nice and it, it's comfortable um, You know, I can just get a good purchase on there some I can put my thumb up here if I need to choke up on it But I, I can get a good purchase and I I could do some good cutting with this But I still I don't like the blade shape. I'm just that's not that's not something that I really, you know, enjoy. It's not something that I really like that much. Um, but speaking from a handle perspective, um, from Ergos, it's it's good. Uh, like I said, it did take me by surprise a little bit, but um, it's it's good. It's comfortable. No hot spots. The pot clip is very flush to the scales, so you're not going to feel that really that much at all, unless you're like really squeezing super hard, which you don't normally do in an EDC knife. So. Overall, ergos are good as well. Next is carry, and this is again where I have a grape with the knife because it does just have Benchmade standard pot clip on there. Um, I think it would be more appealing to have either the mini deep carry clip or just the standard loop over style deep carry clip. Um, th this pot clip doesn't look bad, I don't think. It looks okay from an aesthetic standpoint, but at the same time, I would much rather have a deeper carry than anything else. Um, I love the mini pot clip that they put on the bug out. Um, I just think that's a phenomenal pot clip. Like it's it's small, it's minimalistic, it, it does very, very well, carries well. Um, so I think that that would go great on here. And if I were to own one of these knives, which I don't think will ever happen unless one is given to me, I would 100% swap out this pot clip for the Benchmade clip or the, the Benchmade, the mini deep carry clip. And that's one nice thing about Benchmade is all the deep carry clips and the normal clips are all interchangeable. Um, so they're very, very easy to uh, change out and whatnot. But other than it not riding as deep in the pocket as I would like, um, the knife's thin. It's very lightweight. Um, for a decent, you know, a decent sized knife, I think that it's a very com or yeah, it's a very comfortable carry. Um, I really don't know what's there when it's in pocket. It, everything's all nice and smooth. Like I said, the G10 has no really sharp edges or hot spots or anything like that. So when it's in pocket, it's it's a good knife. It's a, it's a good knife to carry. Um, very lightweight, like I said, which Benchmade is, is good at doing. And it's just, other than it not having a deep carry clip, it, I had no gripes with it. So that leads me to my final category that I like to go over, and that is price point and what I recommend this knife. Would I recommend this knife? I don't know. It's, you know, I, as you guys can just, as you guys just saw, um, 
from action, carry, ergos. They were all good. I had no, you know, complaints with them. I had no, like, quips with the knife besides it not having a deep carry clip. So why wouldn't I recommend it to someone? And I don't know. I just, I, I don't like how it looks. I, I'm just not a huge fan of the aesthetics of this knife. Um, if someone else liked it and someone, if someone come up to me and said, hey, I really like the looks of the 940. Is it a good knife? Should I get it? I would say if you like the looks, then yes, you should get it because I don't like the looks, but I liked everything else about the knife. The action was good. It was very comfortable in hand. It was a good, good knife to carry. Um, I just, I personally don't like the, the looks of it. I don't like the blade shape. I'm not a huge, it's just too skinny for me. I wish there was a little bit more belly. Um, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't draw me in. It doesn't do it for me. Um, but if someone specifically came to me and said, Hey, I like how this knife looks. Would you recommend it? I would have to say, yes, I would. If you, if you like, like how it looks and you like the, you know, design lines of it and everything like that, I would recommend it. And I know I might catch some heat for that because the 940, like I said, is such an iconic knife. Um, I mean, I f it, it's a it's a staple of the EDC community and it's a staple of knife collections. It has been for the last 10, 15 years, I want to say. Um, so there, I'm sure there's some 940 fanboys out there that will think I'm completely wrong in what I'm saying and stuff like that. But again, personal preference. So, but if I were to buy one, I would definitely go for one like this or something just more special than just the S30V and Black G10. Um, they do have a Mini Osborne, which maybe sometime I'll get in just to see if I like it any better than this because I do like smaller knives. But this, like I said, this feels pretty good in hand, so the Mini might be a little bit too small if I can just barely get all four fingers on this one. But maybe in the future someone would like to lend that out to me. Um, I would be open to that, so. That's all I have to say about this, guys. Um, this was a full review of the Benchmade 940, more specifically the Blade HQ M4 and JG10 uh, exclusive that they did. And again, big shout out to Kyle J. Lansphere, aka Red Wolf EDC. Thank you, Kyle. Um, I really appreciate you sending these knives out to me. Um, and just Kyle's a great dude. I will leave a link to his Instagram page and his uh, YouTube channel in the description down below. Go shout him out. Go tell him what's up. Go check out his channel. Kyle's a great guy to have in the knife community. I'm glad to call him, you know, I'd be glad to have him in my circle of knife friends. So thank you again, Kyle. But that's it for today, guys. Uh, the next two videos you will be seeing will be the next two of Kyle's knives. And like I said in yesterday's video or Sunday's video, no, Sunday, Monday's video, I filmed it on Sunday. Um, I am trying to buy one of his knives. So I'm trying to sell some stuff to be able to purchase that. So it could be next video is Kyle's knife and next video is my knife. We'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping back in and for checking out this channel and for checking out my video. Um, I really appreciate you guys. As always, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the 940, if you think I'm crazy for hating on it, or if you agree with me. Um, I love hearing what you guys have to say. But I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.